Hey guys, welcome to this video. I'm Prajwal from Indie Crypto and inside this video we'll see what is a fork and uh, also the difference between soft fork and hard fork. Now uh, this is a continuation to my previous video where I spoke about the Bitcoin block size, what are the advantages and disadvantages of increasing the block size. So I'll go ahead and leave the link for this video in the description below. If you have not checked that video, please go ahead and uh, check it out. So let's get straight into it. So what is a fork? A fork in simple terms is a condition or an update that's applied to the blockchain, okay? It's just like any other software where you get updates where new things are added to put that particular software. A fork is very similar to that. Here are the differences between uh, the soft fork and the hard fork. In soft fork, it is basically an update in the software which is backward compatible. Now, uh, here is an example for that, that is iOS or iOS 10 or iOS 11 and also on YouTube app. Okay, and uh, if you have an iPhone, basically like an iPhone 5S and uh, your phone is compatible with both iOS 10 and iOS 11. That means if your phone has some issues with iOS 11, you can roll back to iOS 10 and your iPhone will still work. The only difference uh, would be you will not get the features that are available in iOS 11 in iOS 10. Okay, the same goes with Android as well. Say if you're running uh, Android Marshmallow on your Samsung uh, Galaxy S7, you can roll back to the Android Jelly Bean and your Samsung phone will still work fine. The only thing is you'll not get the features that are there on the latest Android Marshmallow in Android Jelly Bean. Okay, so that's what basically a soft fork is. That's basically an example of how soft fork works. So soft fork is very similar to that. So if there are people who don't want to upgrade to the latest version of a particular blockchain, they can still use the older blockchain, but they'll not get the newest and advanced features that are implemented in the latest update of the blockchain. So that is basically what a soft fork is. Okay, now let's see what is a hard fork. Now hard fork is basically an update to the software or the blockchain which is not backward compatible. Now the best example for this will be PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. Now if you guys have been playing games you'll definitely know that the games uh, or the discs that come with PlayStation 3 you can't play the same discs on PlayStation 4. Okay, So once you have upgraded to PlayStation 4 there's no looking back. You can't play games uh, of PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 2 or any PlayStation for that matter. You'll only be able to play the games that are created or optimized only for PlayStation 4. So that's basically an example for hard fork. Now in blockchain, whenever the hard fork happens, the blockchain will diverge into two networks or more networks and it will share the same history of transactions and the blocks till the fork or date or the time. Now let me quickly give you an example of this. Now there were two forks or two hard forks that happened to Bitcoin this year alone. On 1st August of 2017 there was a hard fork which resulted in Bitcoin Cash and on 25th October 2017 there was a hard fork which resulted in Bitcoin Gold. Now Let's look about Bitcoin Cash. Now till August 1st or till uh, July 31st, the entire network of the Bitcoin, okay, had the same transaction history of that of Bitcoin Cash. After August 1st, Bitcoin Cash itself has a different blockchain altogether and the transactions will be completely different on the Bitcoin Cash blockchain and the transactions on the Bitcoin network will be completely different. So the blockchain has diverged here and but till August 1st or before 
Both these blockchains will share the same transaction history. The same goes with Bitcoin Gold as well. So that's basically how forks work. That's basically what a fork is and uh, what a soft fork and a hard fork is. Right now, the two biggest ways to achieve forks are the first one is miner activated, where basically the miners vote for uh, a particular uh, fork and uh, they will be able to execute the fork on the network. The second way is user activated and uh, this is basically where people with active nodes will go ahead and vote and uh, get that fork executed. Now when it comes to like, blockchains like uh, Bitcoin, there are no central authority controlling it so achieving consensus is very important so everybody has to agree for a fork and uh, or the changes to the blockchain and only then the particular change will be applied to the blockchain if people not everybody is going to agree for a particular change that is when it's going to result in a hard fork that's when a few percentage of people will follow one particular blockchain and uh, the other few percentage will follow another set of blockchain so that's when the blockchain is going to diverge and uh, get split into two and it's not only the blockchain it's the community as well that will go ahead and split okay and um, in my next video i'll be speaking about the upcoming bitcoin forks there are a lot of forks that are coming up in uh, in this month alone and the next month so i will be going ahead and uh, sharing what are these forks when are these happening and also what are the precautions you need to take during after and before these forks so go ahead and subscribe to that video and if you've already subscribed go and hit that bell button so that you get notified whenever we post new videos and uh, you can uh, get notified when we upload this particular video and if you have any questions please go ahead and leave it in the comment section below i would love to read your questions and uh, answer them so thank you very much for watching this video and i'll see you very soon with the next video